Hey guys, what's going on Matt here and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 mod tutorial series. So then, in this video we're going to be setting up power lighting. So we're making this light here turn on when the power gets turned on, otherwise, you know, it'll be turned off. And I'm also going to give you guys a quick script. It's only pretty basic, but it's quite a good way that you can monitor power for different events in the map. So, you know, maybe you're waiting for something to, you know, require power before it, you know, occurs um, via script. So, yeah. So first thing we need to do is go over to Radium into our map and actually basically mess about with the sun okay because at the moment it's enabled for me but we need to enable light state too okay so what you're going to do is you'll go over to your entity list go down to volume on volume sun click on that and you see here we have ssi one here okay so this is light state one all we're going to do is quite simply copy that over to light state two like so escape to deselect that now you might have to restart radiant now um i did it just previously to test it out so i don't need to so now you go over to view lighting states and when you do you go to lighting state 2 um it's now enabled so next step we actually need to do this light so i'm at light state 2 you know this by if i go into it's not even built yet just quickly build the lighting There we go. So you see now I'm in light state two. Let's go to view and light state one. I need to put that as well, of course. Thankfully, it's only a very small map, this, so it doesn't take very long to do. See so light state one. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to back to two. Light state two. So now you can see only two of them are actually enabled because we've only set two of them up. And if you do want a third and a fourth, then just go back into the sun and edit that. So I'm going to click on this light, this is obviously the light that we're going to make turn on with power and I'm actually going to do both of them, I'm going to do them both separately. <clears throat> so we'll go down to Entity Info, we'll go over to the L, not LD, so Lighting States, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and you see here I've got Lighting States 1 to 4. So because now we're in Light State 2, this is when I want it to be turned on, we'll leave this as it is, but uncheck Light State 1. So we don't want it to be on originally but we want it to be on after power is turned on so i'll leave those three checked i'm going to go onto this as well and i'm going to also do the exact same to this so turn it off if power isn't on there we go so now if we go over to view on light state one you see it's white there is no lighting if we go to view light state two the light turns on so that's how you do power lights guys so next as i said we're going to go over um, to some scripts and we're just going to set up a way to basically what it does is it forces the lights it's because i have noticed a few times um on some occasions the actual map doesn't start on light state zero so this script will force it to start on light state zero and then when the power's on force it onto light state one and of course you can also expand that to um basically trigger in game events i use it in my map medieval to uh, to lower the uh, the starting gate uh, if you ever played that map the gate closes to begin with um, and then when the power's on uh, all the things around the map start happening i, I use i use this exact same script to uh, to monitor that so let's save this we can you can now completely exit out of radium there's no need for this anymore uh, there we go we'll go over to where we installed Black Ops 3, go to user maps, your map name, mine's ZM Ritual, go to scripts and ZM, and you'll find ZM, your map name, dot GSC. To open up that, drag that over. There we go. So, scroll down and you'll see user map main down here. Just within the function main, you'll see user map main. Directly underneath this, you'll have add this line of code. I'm going to copy it from another screen and so i will actually put this in the description um it's something i've written myself so i can uh i can give that out so all you do is monitor power level three monitor power you can name this whatever you want uh but with this not being a scripting series i'm not going to explain what everything is doing i'm just going to say basically what its purpose is not the syntax so monitor power level three monitor power under your main as i said you can get this from the description if you like and I'm going to get the actual function and you, all you're going to do is at the very end of your file you're going to paste this in here um, this first bit is a comment um, I use these literally just to separate sections of code um, you don't have to have it like this you could literally 
just not have these three lines here whatsoever or you could have one of them it's just so i can separate it that's all and um, the actual useful bit is this part here so function monitor power what's in here and then obviously the opening the close braces so what we're going to do is we're going to wait until the black screen has passed. So this is when you first load into your map. You notice your screen goes black and then the player loads in. Um, it's going to wait until that completely goes and the actual player is in the map. It's then going to force it onto light state zero. Um, as you can see here, denoted by the zero. And then it's going to wait until the power is turned on. Okay. As soon as the power is turned on, the, the, uh, the script will then move on and then activate light state one, which of course will turn your lights um, on. So that's pretty much all it really does. It's quite simple, but it uh, can be very useful as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and save this. I'm going to go over to the launcher. We're going to compile this, and I'm going to go and show you guys in game that this actually works. So I'll see you guys over at Black Ops Three. Okay, so we're over at Black Ops Three now. Then, um, see that the light is not on. Open up this, and I'm going to turn the power on. As such and now you notice the power is on I mean, it's pretty hard to see just because the map's quite bright to begin with but yeah you can see on the wall at least anyway, you can see the power outline so yeah that's how to um, add a power light of course you can do the exact, exact same method to blow the lights across your map and that's obviously your uh, pretty basic script on you know how to actually monitor it also so yeah, thanks for watching this guy. This thing, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. But other than that, hopefully it helped. Next video, we'll be adding in mystery boxes to the map. So that's, you know, definitely getting into more features. So it's quite nice. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.